Okay guys, in this tutorial, how do you reset your BIOS password? Let's say your BIOS is password protected and you forgot the password. You are not being able to make changes in the setting. So few steps I'll be guiding you in this tutorial in order to reset your BIOS password. So the first easy way guys, if you are using a laptop, you just have to open the laptop and locate CMOS battery. So guys, you can see this is the CMOS battery. So somewhere in a, it it is it will be over there in the desktop as well as laptop. So if you're using a desktop, even you have to open the desktop. You have to look at the CMOS battery. Just uh, remove this CMOS battery in a desktop or a laptop. If you are using a laptop and you forgot your BIOS password, or if you're using a desktop and you forgot the BIOS password, just remove the CMOS battery for a while. So it's a minimum 15 minutes. Sometimes you just uh, remove this battery for half an hour. Uh, just uh, remove the battery and just uh, walk around for half an hour, do some other work and come back. So guys, after half an hour, just uh, put it back again. Make sure it's sorted properly. Just press it and it's done. So whether it is a desktop or the laptop, you can follow this step. You just have to do a little bit of uh, hard work opening the desktop or the laptop so the easiest way and now you're gonna check your BIOS uh, password is reset you can just access to the BIOS you can get access to the BIOS and you can make a changes to your BIOS setting now okay guys it's the next easy way is uh, resetting the jumper so you have to locate a jumper in your motherboard whether it's a desktop or the laptop open the desktop or the laptop and one thing that you need to keep in your mind is uh, you just have to disconnect all the device uh, it's uh, whether it's a power cable or a battery just uh, remove everything and just look at the jumper in your uh, desktop or the laptop so you can see it is uh, labeled over here as a clear CMOS and here is a jumper uh, so you can use a documentation manual you can download from the internet if you do not have a product manual your motherboard manual it's a documentation manual and that will help you locate where exactly is the jumper now you can see currently it is in the two different pins uh, so i'll just remove it and here's a three different pin guys you can see it's a one two and three so it was in the first and the second pin now i'll just shift it to second and the third pin and just uh, leave it for around uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes and then you can just come back again after 5 to 10 minutes and then you can just uh, remove it from second and third pin again put it back to the first and the second pin now again uh, just screw your put the motherboard board back into the system or PC and so the desktop or the laptop and see you'll see your uh, BIOS setting uh, password it will not ask you for the password and you can set your BIOS to the default okay guys the next step you can use a DOS command so if you're using a Windows 10 you have to install MS-DOS into your system because you can type these commands only in MS-DOS uh, debug it's a 072E 071FF and quit so 7071 is the port and it's a letter O and FF is to reset your bias now you can just uh, type this command at first uh, debug then after 072E then after 071FF and then after quit so after typing each command you have to press the enter key so type this command one by one and press enter key so remember it works only on MS-DOS so you need to have MS-DOS installed in your system so the finally one more step that you can try is uh, going through the back to your BIOS password for uh, whatever laptop you are using. Let's say you can just uh, go to the search on Google and you're gonna type it's a back to your BIOS password. Let's say your laptop is SP Pavilion or some other brand, other model. You can just type over here. Always go to the official web for guide. You can see here it's uh, like uh, it's sp.com. It's a uh, need a bias back to a password so always go to the official web for, web for a guide sometime you'll find a lots of password on on official web so trying the password for more than three times sometimes some, time, some uh, bias system might get locked so 
instead uh, to avoid getting locked permanently try to get the BIOS, BIOS pass, uh, password from some of the good website or some official website and then only use it do not use if you are entering the password and you are getting the wrong password message for a couple of time just stop it so if you try for more than uh, three times you may get uh, locked so try for one or two time it do not work proceed to the next method so all these steps guys you can follow in order to unlock the first two method is really the best one uh, you can use to uh, unlock the bias setting uh, you can reset your bias password or you can bypass uh, the bias password so guys if you like this uh, tutorial be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another greatest stuff have a good day